Hello everyone, I hope you're doing great and in this video we will discuss about split large classes a registry tweak that is probably popular for some of you. Many users ask me to make this video to test the latency of this registry and also we will discuss about if it exists or not. Uh, official documentation I haven't for this registry but I had some help from uh, programmer that helped me to verify at some point the existence of this uh, registry. We will talk further about this on uh, the analysis. But generally speaking, uh, I think this, op this registry is really, really interesting. Let's go to the video. So, split large classes deep dive. The definition of this is the registry he is used to enable the splitting of large classes in the Windows operating system. This setting can help improve system performance by optimizing how the kernel handles large class sizes, particularly in systems with significant memory resources. So it's something that uh, optimizes the kernel and also probably can help us more when we have more memory, more RAM to our system. The registry location is this when i say doesn't exist by default i mean the the key value doesn't exist the path obviously uh, does exist um and here we are to explain the existence of this uh, registry the source is from Lars lauer a programmer uh, according to him uh, it is exported as ki split large classes the variable is related to system logical processor information that ex this you can find it if you copy paste this name you will find the official uh, documentation for this function and it has an effect on the group affinity of the logical processors and how the CAS is distributed the hypothesis is if uh, equals to one divide the cache into small blocks setting the value to one totally affects the data provided by the structure you can read the structure easily with get logical processor information ex so to make uh, things simple probably this exists uh, we found this uh, information in windows server 2022 um, so in all versions of Windows 10 and Windows 11, probably you will support this uh, registry. So I can say that uh, I'm pretty sure that this option exists. Let's go to the capturing and analysis method. Not something new, same uh, method, same tools, same machine, same gaming conditions for Fortnite and CS2. So let's come to the latency in Fortnite. In Dark's kernel, as we see, when we enable by default, as we said, it it is disabled and actually doesn't even exist as a registry in uh, the registry. So by default is disabled. So when we enable it, Dark's kernel has some significant improvement, as we can see, for the most uh, uh, metrics. From the other hand, the Entos kernel doesn't seem to be very, very happy with this option but actually we can say that we have some very huge difference if we compare the differences with Dark's kernel here all things are almost the same same thing for uh, WDF um, and here we have a summary in Fortnite as we see Dark's kernel had six metrics that was better when we changed this option the other metrics was the opposite now, the reason probably that I can imagine this happening is because I testing in games and the system utilizes this driver. It's very is the core driver for your games, the direct channel. So I guess uh, it can help. It can really help. So in terms of Fortnite, if we consider that direct channel is a core driver for this game, I would say that it's really really good. If we enable this option, uh, Dark's kernel gains some good performance by enabling this option. The other drivers doesn't seem to be affected by this, and actually I would say that had have the same um, results between enable and disable. 
The front end CPU precise utilization by threads, again we follow a similar pattern but on this case we can say that we have more metrics, more metric winners on a specific case. In both sides we see some improvement, lower execution times. But if we see here, when we disable large system cache, uh, system split large cache, we see that we have better performance with those metrics in comparison with Nebel. In SIS2, again, direct kernel seems to be much better when we enable this option. Endos kernel is the opposite, as we saw before, but with very similar results, so we can't say that we have any huge difference. Maybe we can say that we have in DPC in DPCI SR enter time we have uh, higher uh, microseconds, but I would say that it's not very concerned. In WDF we follow the same pattern, and on this case actually the most metrics are better when we disable this option. Again, with very, very small differences. So again, the summary is this. The direct scanner again is better. The other drivers are much better when we disable this option or when we have the default state. And the CPU precise looks better when we enable this option. So as we see, we have seven points for split large classes enabled and three points for disable. So before we say the conclusion, let's see some observations. This is a metric in, in thread part, in CPU precise, and in format we had in split large classes enable this number. And we, when we, we, we disable this option, the default, we have this. Same with SIS2. And as we see, we have the same uh, type of results, the same type of data in both games. I tested in different times those games with different tests and we see we have the same uh, observation. So we can say that split large cast improve this, uh, this metric, that is very important metric. So we have also this improvement and I think it's a significant improvement. So the conclusion is Test and see, as I say always, but first of all, Dark's kernel was much better when we enabled this mechanism. So, if we play games, probably we can gain some performance by enabling this option, in latency always. In terms of FPS, I'm not gonna do anything, I'm, I don't care about the FPS part because I know you, you can't see any improvement in terms of FPS. Um, as with the old metrics, with the old uh, tweaks, I'm sorry, uh, this also tweak doesn't change anything in terms of FPS. Maybe in frame times, maybe in starters, maybe on something else, but don't expect more FPS by change or only one uh, registry tweak. So, my opinion is use it, test first, but you should give it a try. And especially, I would like to have your uh, point of view and your test results, your opinion about if you had the same result with the dark kernel and if you had something similar with this metric if you decide to test with uh, Windows Performance Toolkit. Anyways guys, uh, thanks for watching, uh, I hope you enjoyed that, this video and see you soon.